Hello, and here we are with a new video. Um, I am recording this after I've done everything because I have looked at my intro for this video and it is shaking like it's an earthquake. So what I'm going to do is throw a photo here of some gadget or some things that I bought, um, a bandsaw and, you know, some log manifold pieces. And throughout this little quick intro, I'll add any other images I feel the need for. But what I'm trying to do in this build is make some log manifolds to go up just to the front of the engine, because my goal is to single turbo uh, one easy engine, but I'm not gonna build the rest of the manifold in pieces till I have it sitting in the car, figure out, uh, stuff and things like the radiator, cooling, uh, where is the belt gonna interfere, things like that. Also what I bought for this is uh, flanges. I was gonna try and reuse the OEM ones on the stock headers. There was no way I was gonna make usable headers out of that or log headers, manifold, whatever. There's no way. I am not skilled enough and patient enough to make that work. So with that said, we are going to dive in at some point here of me starting the process. Thank you for watching. Let's get going. got a pause for the cause and this cause is to observe where I'm at so this is not its final form but what I have done is I have used a marker to try and get the inner and outer markings the openings on these are bigger than the holes in the flange so there is some room for finagling uh, what I have found, no cut, no cut, a uh, quarter inch cut on both sides, and then it turned out I was doing a quarter inch cut, uh, let's find out, um, on this side, on the inner side, so quarter inch cut to bring it in a little bit. And then that allowed for this thing to fit without any cutting. But to be fair, I did screw up and had a quarter inch cut thinking I needed it. But I can still use it, so I'm not too butt hurt. And where we're at, outside is here and there. And they'll, they'll be finagling, don't worry. Outside, that longer marking. And that marking there, so we're still good. Outer cut, outer, outer, and outer. So, everything will weld up nicely. And should be fine. I mean, weld up nicely is a very loose term because it's me doing the welding. But, got four pieces. I will now... Go replicate it, which is, you know, cut two more of these things. And we will be back with uh, something. Probably welding. But hey, we'll find out.
And as she spins down, we have a little more progress being made. So, as you saw previously, I had to cut, as this thing shakes, I had to cut slits out of these. So what I'm trying to do now is just give a little bit of an angle on the ones I've cut to hopefully allow a little better welding when meeting up to something like that. Plus, you know, I took some off of it to even things out a little more, as you can see. Not everything was perfect, but we're trying. So I'm gonna do that on these next. And yeah, we'll be back. Hooray! now in place. So, I've got more stuff to do, obviously. What I need to do, go, you know. Well, first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure after all my work, and you know, you gotta love that. Here, let me just tell you a quick story. You see that, for anyone who knows how to weld, they would probably recognize that as there's no gas. And that is the case. And I had turned up, well, okay, first actually, I didn't have the gas on. I turned it on, went to use, and it was still acting funny. I was like, what the hell? I go back and look, and there was zero pressure. Then I forgot when one of the grandkids were out here some time ago, they played with the knob. I had the gas level exactly how I wanted it. So, had to do some quick tweaking. Anyway, so that one I'll have to probably spend a little more time on to clean up, but we got four logs tacked in place. I don't wanna finish them up until I put them on, on one of the flanges mark things out, make sure everything is still good because it'll be easier to redo crap if, you know, I screwed up after measuring like twice or three times. So I feel good, but I've screwed up plenty of times in my life. So yeah, I'll do the measurements and then we'll be back with some form of step or progress or something. Here we go. Well, we are at the next stage of uh, scary looking stuff. So I've got these pieces welded together. I have verified that they do not overlap when exiting. Now they're not perfectly circled, but they are there. And we'll just give you a quick little peek at some of my quality welding and then masking with some grinding. So I'm definitely not a perfectionist. Plus my shaking kind of prevents uh, some good solid beads anyway. I feel like I have this good. Should be nice and sealed. Um, unfortunately, I will probably find out when I'm actually trying to get the car running with the turbo when there's actually you know some pressure. But for right now, this will work. I cleaned off the undersides, uh, ground down some of it that I care about. The next step is I'm going to clamp these onto that, weld them up, figure out how well I'm gonna be able to do the insides. But that's something I'll figure out along the way. And you will be back to see it like now. So here we are. Last stage, we have, well, I'm assuming last stage for now. We have this bolted up uh, on that side. It's fine. We can go take a quick look, 
partially bolted up. I haven't bolted everything up, yada, yada, yada. But this is the side where the dipstick is. I have removed it. Here it is. Because I knew pretty quick, and I think I covered this in a previous video, that, okay, you know, we have it kind of in right there. But it just, so currently right now, it will not bolt up right here. But you know, whatever, you cut that off. But right now, it's resting on the freaking manifold. That's a bad idea. So, I just need to adjust this, and we'll be back very shortly with hopefully an adjusted, more set version of that. Let's find out. Here we are, finished by my standards. We now have the dipstick, or at least the tube for it. Nice and uh, bended out. Not touching, but getting close to a number of things. Uh, I don't think it's touching, no, but it's freaking close. But it is not touching the tubes, um, so I feel better about it. I'll find out way down the line if it's good enough. Here's my lovely log manifold. It should function. I believe I have every pinhole, everything sealed up. And there's extra goober welds on it to make sure. And that's what we have. So... I appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.